film was shot in four parts. Each one should be able to stand alone as a short film. Each of the DPs sat down beforehand. We had to figure out how we were going to do this with four different directors of photography. The question was, did we want all four pieces to look the same? Or because they're now going to be four separate pieces, it, would this be a good opportunity to try to do something different? So our goal was to make each one look unique, but at the same time, they should be able to tie together. I DP'd the first piece, the one Bob directed. He really wanted to go for this idea of a new beginning with both Hawaken and the London Brothers. I wanted a lot of stationary cameras and uh, long shots to really um, uh, take in the landscape because it was going to be a lot of different landscapes and they're being each one of them is kind of on a journey somewhere so I wanted to really take in the landscape. I was in charge of DPing the second film. We just wanted to continue this, this gritty look uh, to the film. We didn't want a crazy handheld look, you know, out of control, a lot of shaky, uh, but we wanted enough handheld to, to give each scene energy. Uh, in part two, a lot of uh, tensions, there's a lot of tension struggles between major characters, conflicts uh, in each scene, where there's not necessarily action or fighting, but um, depending on what the characters are saying to one another, uh, a little handheld camera can definitely add energy to that scene in a lot of different ways. So that was kind of our goal. My film, we were going for a much more stationary look than the other parts of the film. So we had as few camera movements as possible. Uh, the point of this was in our film, you have the two main characters, Taylor and Bo, are spending most of their time in a jail cell. And we wanted to communicate that through the cinematography. Just sort of relate the monotony or the trapped feeling of being stuck in this one place. We wanted to keep the audience grounded and stationary for our film. And I think it works very well with the situation. The fourth film, um, right from reading the script, I knew that it was going to be something that was moving. It shifted from certain events going on to all these events reaching a point where everything was, was going to be moving moving towards the final end, the final shootout and the final confrontation where everyone's convictions uh, were coming to like a conclusion. We wanted each piece to look different. We wanted each piece to have its own style, have its own feel, because the stories do. The stories follow um, different characters. They have different feels. That influences how it's, it's, um, it's shot. And, and, the visual and how it looks. So I think it, it works great with four different directors of photography. Um, if it was one, I think it would be uh, less interesting, a little bland.